It's your boy Bill here, back with another video, and today, I got something for you guys, man. Today we're going to be talking about the best equipment for LF Goku Freezer, man. So, you guys know, they dropped the part one. I'm going to drop a best equipment guide for everything like that. I think I'm going to be dropping a lot of videos these next two days, so... Today and tomorrow is going to be a lot of videos, so I know you guys, a lot of you guys, some of them go to Freezer. Uh, look at the card art, right? This is super awesome. This is just fire. Uh, pretty solid unit for sure. I, I got to rock them more, but you guys probably might want to know what are the best equipment, so I got you guys here. So if you guys do enjoy the video today, you guys, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notice, man. And um, whenever I do post videos, go live or whatever, man, you guys will get notified and all that good stuff. So, yeah, uh, let's talk about some of the best equipment and Let's get straight to it. Let's get straight to it, man. Let's, let's get straight to it. So first, before we do anything, I'm not gonna be on. Um, I'm not gonna let that DVD that space because they did not have. They did not update the website to have Goku Freeze and all that stuff. So I can't look at their equipment there. But I do have pretty much all of their good equipment. So I'm gonna show you guys that there. But first, let's go to the archive first. The reason why I want to go to the archive is because there is equipment that is going to be dropping PVP next PVP reset, and it's going to be this equipment that's going to be pretty good. Because the reason why it has base health and it has pure black tag and pure strike tag. Now, what it makes it really good is because Goku Frieza is both Sun Family and Frieza Force right here. And, you know, Frieza and Frieza Force and Goku Sun Family. And the fact that they have a pure blast attack and a pure strike attack is really good. So, having they have pure for both sides and they're getting health, that's really good. It gives them sustainability and then you're getting pure for blast and strike. So, with Universe Rep, <coughs> you can kind of build like a balanced team with a lot of blast phase abilities. You can have like Master Roshi, you can have Red Rod, you can have MVP 17, you have like some strike attack units like themselves, you have Pig, you have um, Casserole, you have all these like uh, strike based units as well that you're trying to add and you can really make it a, a balanced setup. So if you guys do want to get this equipment from, this is actually probably might be one of the best peers just because they get the help and they get the pure blast and strike. So if you are trying to look for a balanced unit rep team, this is probably gonna be one of the setups, one of the equipment that you wanna have as your peer equipment. Now, another peer equipment I also wanna talk about, not another peer equipment, but another good equipment that they actually have, is actually gonna be this flat. Now this flat is from Co-op. Right now I don't have a Z plus or a good gold slot on the first slot, but special move damage, you get peer strike defense with base strike defense, and you have peer strike attack with base strike attack. So this is actually pretty good here. If you make a, if you're trying to build like more of a base strike attack team, this is gonna be a uh, unirac strike attack team, so you're gonna be good for them peer strike. When you get your strike defense, that's actually really good as well. Now, next, let's actually go back to my, you know, my, my, my what's the name here? I have to show you guys some other good equipment here. Let's actually talk about more stuff, with more, more peer equip, more peer equipped, and everything like that. So this is also gonna be another good peer equip here. This is a awakened explosive class, bro. Base key recovery, you have strike defense to 25, and then here you have base strike attack and peer strike. This one goes up to 12 peer. And then base is 12 as well. So this is actually really pretty solid here. You're gonna be getting the base strike, right? Um, you can't really go wrong with this because they are a the strike base unit. You gotta check the kicks out. They are strike base. So this is another good peer that you guys can rock for them back as well. So after that, you can go to some other peer clips. Me personally, I feel like the first two peers are probably gonna be the best peers, but some alternatives. You can't have this one right here where it has this, it has Vegeta, it has the melee battle metal because they are a melee type unit, right? We have some checks here in the melee type, so that actually works for them as well. Another peer equipment that you guys can rock here is this equipment here. I'm young again. The fact that they have an element purple character to the battle member, Goku is a purple unit, so that means he can apply this to himself. This goes up to 10 as well. This is also a good peer, solid peer. Not the best one, but it's a solid peer. And then there's probably one more peer that I'm missing here. Am I actually missing any other peers? I'm not, I'm not really missing any here. So in terms of peer, I'd rather go with the first peer that I showed you with the, the gold where it has the gold equipment where it has the base health and then the, the, the peer blast and strike. Or you go with the explosive class here with the one that I have here. I feel like those are the best peer for them. Especially you build a strike base team. I feel like those are the best peers. Now next, let's see how to this old user equipment. Now you want them to be a little bit some some defensive unit. You want to build them a fear a full universe rep team. This equipment is pretty solid here. You get peer strike defense. And pure blast defensive with some base blast attack and base strike attack, and you get help. So, if you want them to be a little more tanky, you guys can go in here. This is not a bad equipment. I probably want to say it's the most optimal, but I'll say this is pretty solid here as well. So, you got that out the way. Now, let's actually look at some really good 
base strength attack. Like I said, they're melee types. So when you look at their peers, just look at some high base strength attacks and everything like that. So let's get straight through this. So first of all, I actually want to talk about this equipment. This equipment right here is pretty good because it has blue card damage. You gotta know they don't have a whole where they have blue card damage. So you gotta see here they have up to 10 plus move damage, and then the key recovery can go all the way up to 35. So what makes this key recovery pretty solid is because if you keep switching out on them, there's a point where they have like really low arch cost and their key recovery will be super high. So having this equipment be able to charge them, be able to size them, they will be able to get so much of their key back, which is going to help them a ton. And then this last slot here, let me actually go to the other one right here. Let me actually go to this one. You guys can go for 30% base strike attack or blast attack or strike attack. So go for the strike attack side. And this equipment really good right here. Really solid right here. Really powerful equipment right here. Next, let's hop into this equipment right here. This equipment is pretty solid. It goes up to 33 base strike. It has up to 20 black attack and it has up to 20 strike defense. You can't go wrong with this. I want to say this is probably their best thing, like one of their optimal equipment, but this is a really good equipment. You want the high base strike attack number. It has 33, pretty solid. You have some a little bit of blast attack and you want to rock that, that balance to your team. You can definitely rock that equipment there. The equipment is called Ha Ha Ha. And then next, let's hop into, I think these two right here that I'm going to show you guys are probably going to be one of their more optimal equipment in terms of like the basic equipment because I'm going to scroll around. So you guys see here, we have this incarnation of evil or it has a number right here. Up to 20% blast defense, you, you know, pretty solid. You, you do face some blast defense you know, or some blast attack units. And then after this, slot 2 goes all the way up to 12.5 base strike attack and 12.5 special move. So that's really good. That's high special move number. And then 12.5 strike attack. And then this last slot here goes all the way up to 25. So if you actually add this up together, this is giving you 37.5 base strike attack and 12.5 special move damage. Which is actually really, really good, bro. That's a high, that's probably one of the highest base strike attack from a from in the game, it's not the highest, but it's one of the highest, which is really good. 27.5, and then you get it up to 12.5 plus move. That's insane. So, next we have the exact same equipment. Basically, is basically the exact same thing. It's literally the exact same equipment. It's the exact same equipment. These these two equipment are literally the same. You guys see here. I think this one has blast defense as well, up to 20. Then this goes to 12.5 strike attack and 12.5 plus move, and then this base strike attack goes up to 25. So they're literally the same equipment. They're really the same equipment, and this one gives you like I said, 37.5. So you add them up together, that's what 75 base strike for two of these equipment by yourself. That's insane. And then you get up to 25 special move damage. Crazy. That's the crazy. These two are really good equipment, bro. I look, I'm glad I got both of them, but these two equipments are really good. But they literally the exact same equipment just for different different uh, tags and everything. But the, the fact that they both are part of both tags. It, it can represent both equipments exactly the same. You can add them together and get up to 25 special move damage with the 75 base strike and up to 40 blast damage. So, really good equipment. Now, this equipment is also really good as well, bro. Like, when you think of it here, this is basically similar to like the two Awakened equipment I just showed you guys there. It has blast defense up to 25. This time it actually has sprinkles in a little bit, some base key, uh, some base key recovery to really get up to 10. But this one, special move damage goes down. Like, it goes up to, it only goes up to 10. It doesn't have the 12.5, but their base strike attack goes up to 25 as well. So this is also a really great equipment. I would probably say these three are probably their best um, base strike attack equipments. I feel like these three are probably the best here in terms of you adding them to have the strike defense. I mean, not the strike defense, the, strike, the base strike attack, and with the special move, and then they have some other stuff like in there as well. So I'll say an uh, alternative equipment that's going to be this equipment called Rice of Sand. And the reason why this equipment is pretty solid is if you go for the base, if you go for slot one and slot two strike attack, you get up to 33% of strike attack. And then if you go slot three, you go for up to 12 on the special move damage. So this is pretty solid. It doesn't compete with the three equipments with the plat and the two awakening equipment. But if you don't want to farm awake equipment awakening, which sucks, then RNG is terrible. You guys can settle for this right to say equipment, which is pretty solid as well. Now, I think I kind of talked about all the good equipment. I could say this one last equipment is here, right here. If you get this, uh, once again, you have return. Like, it's like the plat. It's like the plat awaken equipment. But this is super difficult to get up to. But if you do care just about getting high base strike attack, this can go literally go up to 30, uh, 45 base strike attacks. So this is probably one of the highest base strike attack equipment in the game for them, up to 45. So if you max it all out, you can get up to 45. With 30 strike defense, this is pretty good. So if you just like I said, you just only care about the base strike attack, 
before they die. But like I said, I like the other purpose more for the blue sprinklers, especially blue damage. And it just makes them hit harder. So I feel like those are probably their best equipments. Yeah, I'll take their, those are their best equipments. If I was to build them up, I'll probably have, like I said, I'll go, I'll, let me ask you the purpose. For my peer, once uh, Wednesday resets, once the PvP resets, I'll probably go and go for this equipment here. Let me ask you that, that equipment. I'll actually try to go for this equipment if you're building a balanced base team, a balanced base leader rep team. You know, they have pure black and pure strike and health, which you can never go wrong with health and pure for both, for both attack and, and both attack. Right, but if you don't have that pure, then I think you guys should definitely settle for this explosive class where you get base strike, you guys get pure strike, which is really good. Strike defense and high Q recovery, like I said, they can have low car arts cost, so their Q recovery can be really good there. So you can have that. And then one of your other equipments, I'll probably go with this equipment here because you get key recovery, a little bit of some special move, you get up to 35 base strike attack, and it's a blast defense here. I'll probably go with that flat. And then for your last equipment, I'll probably settle with one of these two equipments because they're basically the same. So me personally, I'll probably go with this one because I have a little bit more. I have the gold slide of the blast defense one. They look, like I said, they're, they're literally the same. So you can just pick or you can add both of them together. So I probably will just take out this one and then just add in this equipment here so this is probably might be the optimal equipment so you have that pier right there you have the other pier that you guys can switch out to and then this equipment this equipment and then this equipment here are probably the best base equipments in my opinion and then you can pick those and then like i said there, there's some other alternative ones that's pretty solid like i said you can if you want them to be a little bit more tanky you can add in this plot and you want them and you want to go with that other last if you want to go with that other pier, you guys can go over here and rock this pier. You guys can rock this pier with the pier strike defense, the pier strike attack one. This one has a little bit of special move in there. It's pretty, it's a, it's a solid piece right there. Be, like I said, if you care about just having high base strike, you guys can go with this one. But like I said, you gotta go, you gotta do it like this ranking thing. And there's just, there's just a lot of resources for it to go your way. And then this equipment right here is also not bad as well. Key recovery, strike defense. I'm not sure if it's 30% strike attack. That's best to be So I feel like those are probably their best equipments. Let me know if I'm missing any other equipment, but I do feel like they're, those are the best ones for sure. So let me know if you guys are gonna grind these equipments. They got some good, like I said, they got some pretty good equipment, bro. They got some pretty good equipment. Just the fact that they're being able to be part of Sans, LOE, LOE, Free the Forest, Sun Fam, all these units, bro. And the fact that they're purple and blue. And that's the only reason why they're able to get this equipment right here because they're freezer is blue but you but he's a, but they're also sun fan so he's able to still get this this equipment right here which is actually the same because this is a equipment that you use when you go hunt and you can use it like so yeah, i hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment subscribe and we'll be in the next